Hello everyone, I'm Rosa and I'm Amy and we're the leaders of Key Stage 1 and here are our top 10 tips for reading with your child at home. All our books are colour banded. Your child should know what colour book they're reading and this should change fairly regularly. They'll bring home a new book each day and when you're reading with your child at night, please make sure they're reading the correct colour. If you're not sure what colour your child is on, please check with your teacher. You'll notice once your child gets to white or lime and above, the books are longer. It's fine for them to keep those books for a few days to finish it off. So, should your child be pointing to the words as they read? Well, for pink and red and yellow readers, you'd still expect them to be pointing to the words as they go. So, make sure that they know that they need to read from left to right and they can point to each individual word as they read the sentence. Something else you could try is to see if they can find individual words within a sentence. So, in this example, can they point to the word the amongst the words? One of the strategies children use to read a new word is to look at the picture. This sentence, here comes the, mm, I'm not too sure about what that word is. Direct your child to look at the picture. There's a sun and there's a bird. Both would make sense. Here comes the bird or here comes the sun. So now you need to direct your child to look at the initial sound. The word starts with a s, so it must be sun. Here comes the sun. To be a good reader, to be a fluent reader, it's really important that children have a bank of sight vocabulary. So these are words that they look at, they don't need to sound out, they just know and they can quickly read them. So here are a few examples. So these are words that you'd want children to just look at and be able to read. And they're all in the yellow book. So it's really important. Please, please make sure you do your yellow homework book with your child. So phonics, you've heard about it, but what does it actually mean? In school, we teach children individual phonemes sometimes called sounds. Some phonemes are individual letters, but some have two or even three. This strategy takes a lot of practice. Your child might tell you that they're sounding out. They read each sound, w -et, and then blend it together. For example, w -et, w -et, Et, wet, wet. Now in the next example, there's a digraph. That means there's two letters that make one sound. For example, t, ow, the O and the W makes the ow sound, n. Town. Right, we're moving on to longer words now. And a helpful strategy that you can help your child to use is to look for words that they already know within a longer word. And this way, they can group sounds together and this will help them to read the full word. So you've looked at the picture, you've tried to sound it out, you've looked for hidden words and you're still stuck. Okay, well, here's another strategy read on and go back. Sometimes reading the full sentence gives you a better understanding of what the word could be. If I read this sentence, the robber was caught. You are under, hmm, I don't know what that word is. I'm going to skip the word and carry on. The robber was caught. You are under, hmm, said the policeman. Ah, policeman. He would usually say, you're under arrest. So the missing word must be arrest. This is such an important thing to do together before you start reading. So please take the time to do it. Talk together about the book 
and then this way they'll have an idea of what to expect. So you can look at the front cover, talk about the picture, discuss the title a little bit, and then turn the book over and have a read through the blurb. You could even go as far as looking through some of the pages and help them to point out what you can see, name some of the things in the pictures. And the reason this is so helpful is that if they're stuck on a word, they've already got an understanding of what's happening in the story, in the text, and they could even link the word to the picture and that will help them read it. Your child is reading fluently, it's all going really well, but are they understanding it or are they just reading the words? Being able to pick out the key words to answer a question is called comprehension. So for example, in this text, you could ask, what did the boy do to scare his sister? And you would expect your child to be able to go back into the text and find he would creep into her room to frighten her. This is a step on from simply just picking out an answer from the text. So for children to have inference skills, they need to be able to discuss what they've read at a deeper level, really. And the answers aren't necessarily there, but they can work out the answer or they can infer meaning from what they've already read. So in this example, you can see the question here. Do you think they get on with each other, the brother and sister? The words don't actually tell us if they get on or not but you'd guess that they might not get on very well because number one, they like different things and two, he tries to scare her. Now, this is quite a difficult skill for early readers and something you can work on as their reading skills develop.